And just like that, we are back here at Pool Dog Championship Arena in Las Vegas. I'm your host, Jason Bowman, joined by the striking Viking, Ava Lawrence. We are here with continuing coverage of the 8-Ball Classic. Ava, red tier, ready to go. Yeah, skill two down, three to go. Two down, three to go. A couple of skill level fives and a race to four. We'll meet them here in a minute. Before we do that, let's run through... Some of the ground rules will real quickly here. Of course, APA rules will apply in this match. Coaching not allowed. This is singles competition, as we've mentioned earlier, and we'll mention again, five separate skill level tiers at the 8-Ball Classic. We've already seen the winners of the blue tier and yellow tier earlier today. We now have the red tier. And again, we have a couple of skill level fours. I'm sorry, a couple of skill levels fives racing to four based on the race chart. Before we meet the finalists, let's take a... Here, quick word from our friends at PoolDog.com. See the difference in men and women fill out these bios. heard from our friends at Pool Dog. Let's meet our finalist in the red tier of the 8-Ball Classic. We've got out of New Jersey, Gregory Strawby, his opponent out of Texas, Alan Geary. Again, both players skill level fives, which means they are racing to four games. The first one to win four games is going to take home 15000 in cash and prizes. Alan has won the lag and will have the break. He is in the yellow shirt. Just about ready to go here in the pit. And we're underway. Strong break, but nothing. Nothing went down. I feel like we've seen a lot of dry breaks last couple days. Yeah, especially early on until you kind of get a feel for, you know, you may have to switch to the other side. A lot of times the table, you know, it breaks consistently well from one side or the other and if you pick the wrong side try the other side next time you got to have a both options especially as we go up in skill levels it becomes more and more important the two three is not uh, op, you know op chances of them running out are obviously pretty slim but as you go up to your fives your sixes and your especially your sevens that becomes really important this, this red tier 200 players, 201 players in this tier. So this is the second largest of the tiers here at the 8-Ball Classic. So both these guys have come a long way to get to here to the final match. As you see, Greg Strawby at the table. Greg is out of Glassboro, New Jersey. playing pool for about seven years. Table here is fairly open. Nothing major here. This is going to be kind of a key shot because the 14 and 13, they all have a pocket to go in, but not necessarily more than one. So it would be interesting to see here if he can solve this he's got a shot on the 11 in the side or the nine in the corner he would like to shoot the 11 in the side simply because the nine in the corner could end up leaving him no shot next so as we know the more shot no more balls you make of your series of balls and then don't go all the way out you're going to really make it a lot easier on your opponent to be able to run the rack sometimes it looks like a five is playing like a six if all he's got to do is make his or her balls and they're wide open, so 
we'll see here the four ball is going to create a problem for Gregory here I mean for Allen excuse me again you look to solve problems as soon as possible because you don't want to be that person that leaves your opponents having more balls on the table a lot more balls and you being down to one or two because then they can just torture you until the end playing defense playing smart Allen is out of Corsicana Texas I'm sure if I pronounce that incorrectly someone will quickly correct me but I think that's not too far outside the Dallas area I think he had his Texas mask on earlier and his cowboy hat too, right? In the photo, he had the cowboy hat, so. Both these players winning their first match of the day in the semifinal round, advancing here to the championship. In a field that originally consisted of 201 players. Neither one of these players taking a very long time to shoot. I like that. Well, and for their sake, too. You know, I see a lot of players just taking way too long time to to shoot. It's one thing when you're trying to decide what series of balls to shoot, what you know, how do I deal with this issue, this cluster, and so on. But when the balls are open, it's time to get to work and be an athlete and just kind of run around the table a little bit. Don't take forever and stare at it and... Don't get too cute. All right, so far so good. And he has a chance to get on the five. Now, it's not going to be an easy shot on the five, but the five ball does go in the corner pocket. All right, here's the shot. You can see that's not an easy shot. It's not impossible, obviously, but the eight ball being where it is, he doesn't have to do much with the cue ball except put a little bit of low spin on the cue ball. Try to get the cue ball anywhere over in this area. But a miss here could cost him the whole first rack because there's nothing that's going to cause Allen not to be able to, I mean, uh, uh, Gregory not to be able to get out from here. So kind of a must make. It's a five. He should be able to make this or at least get close to making it. And overcut it. No, he made it. Beautiful. He made it. Nice shot. Nice shot. Allen with a chance to get on the board first here. Pockets this eight ball. Marks his pocket there in the corner. Oh, he looks steady early. They both played very confidently yeah. right off the bat. Gregory did as well. He just made a mistake there. Kind of opened everything up for Allen. And uh, there you go. Nicely done. Allen Geary takes an early one nothing lead in this race to four. He will have the break once again. You know, eight ball is an interesting game because it's the hardest game in the world when the balls are all tied up and you're trying to plan and out and then you get farther and farther out of line and, you know, you can't quite get there. But when the balls are open, it's, it's one of the easier games we have in billiards because now it's just shooting the balls into a pocket and there's nothing to stop you. You can change your mind. If you get out of line, you have a different option. So I love the game of eight ball on a seven foot table. It's much easier on a nine foot table. But to me, eight ball on, on a seven foot table is just a great game because it's a real chess match and, it, you know, less of a shooting match, obviously, than nine foot, but a real thinking man's or woman's game. Mm.
Oh, this says, Lindsay said Alan's her daddy. She's proud of him. And their grandson Uriah is tuning in. So they said, go pawpaw. One of my favorite parts about the, yeah. the streaming is being able to bring these matches to the folks back home that couldn't be out here to Absolutely. watch their friends or family. It's, it's All nice. right. You can see here a bit of a mess. I definitely, I think I would have preferred if it were me to have the stripes. There's a lot of little issues here. So it's an open table. We'll see what he's going to choose. This is obviously a major concern right there. All stripes have a chance to go somewhere, but he's going to choose to go with the solids. Uh-oh. Left himself to test her here, boy. Barely made that. Got an easy combination on the 6-7. Just need to draw it back a little bit. Make sure you get a full hit on the 7 so that the 6 stays there and doesn't get up behind the 14. Well, there it is. Just didn't really pay attention to where pockets are friendly, So you, but you still have to actually make the ball in the part of the pocket that you're planning to make for position purposes. And he went from having a great opportunity there to being in a bit of a mess here. And you can see even if he makes this here, six is buried, three is buried. So he's uh, definitely doesn't have the advantage on his side. So Alan is going to get to the table. And the best alan has got, I think, is a combination on this 914 over there. Alan wanted to make sure we said hello to he his son, Nathan, and his daughter, Lindsay. Lindsay, obviously, tuning in. We saw a comment from her. So, Alan's thinking of you guys, too, as he plays this important match. Wants to bring that trophy back to Corsicana, Texas. Have to kick at this ball on the side. Oh, a nice try. Not bad. I do see that a lot, and I usually try to tell the players from my area to, you know, see how he adjusted. He went down to kick it a certain way, and then he moved everything. And if you really change your mind, then to get back up and look at it again. Because if you're down already and you're kind of, it's, it's hard to see. Once you're down, you should just shoot. When you stand up is when you aim and decide what to do, and that's when you aim, and then you get down into the shot and then look at the spot you've already aimed. But when you start adjusting when you're already down on the shot, it kind of uh, skews things. So try to keep in mind, always get back up and start your routine over again. Do you, uh, do you give, like, lessons to players back home? or um, We had uh, some planned and before COVID hit, and I used to do it more. Um, I stay on the road quite a bit still, and we do other stuff. So during the COVID, we have done none, but we yeah. have are planning to put together some right now nice. to do um, lessons combined with um, singles boards. Oh, cool. There you go. You were yeah. talking about singles boards yeah. earlier. Good call. We've done that before, and that's kind of been fun. So. All right, wasn't a bad choice there, considering the fact that the 14 has nowhere to go. No shot at the 10. So it looks like Allen's going to have to go defensively unless he goes for this combo. You can tell this combo is not easy. The angle that he has, you, this is where you just got to decide, get up, and then just trust that you have found the right spot. Don't ad over adjust it after you're down and aiming. You just got to believe that you found the right spot. Looks like he might be overcutting this a little. Oh, boy. 
I think he was trying not to double hit that. So they were balls were close together. Double hit is a foul. So he was just kind of jabbing at it. And it was like a panic stroke. Been there, done that. <laughs> Jackie Dunlap is asking what skill levels are. This is the red tier, and the two players are skill level five. Mm -hmm. Which means they race to four. First one to four game will be your champion in the red tier. At the table here is Greg Strauby. Well, obviously, both of these players started as a five. Have played the entire tournament, a lot of matches to get to this point and stay to five. We'll see what uh, Gregory can come up with here. Looks like he is shooting the six ball. Oh, foul. It would look, didn't look like he could hit it, but, I, he, you know, it's hard to tell for us. I, when he lined it up, I went, wait a minute. But um, it's easier to see what's going on when you're down on the floor next to the table as right, opposed to yeah, even the overhead, as good as it is, it still doesn't give you the nuances and the little millimeters what's going on. So Some interesting decisions here for Allen. Yeah. This is where you want to make sure... You know, you don't necessarily want to solve that eight ball yet. It's a it's an option, but because of the six blocking the pocket for the thirteen, I don't know that I would or or the eleven, I think it is no the thirteen. I don't know that I would um that's a good choice too. This is I doubt this is gonna be a run out from here. It's just a really tricky table. This is interesting. Well, no major harm done again because of this right here. Yeah. Gregory can go ahead and make that six. He can go ahead and make the five. But the three being where it was, where <coughs> it's been since the beginning of the rack after the break, that's not what you want to leave for your for your last ball on the table because then... With some smarts and good shooting, Allen's got you. Allen is from New Jersey. What did you say in New Jersey was from? Glassboro. Glassboro. You know where Glassboro is? No clue. South Jersey. In South Jersey? Okay. I don't know my Jersey geography like I, I know some other states, but I'm not... You know your Florida, I know oh that. Oh, yeah, I know my Florida and geography. And your Missouri. Yeah, I know my Missouri <laughs> geography, too. I know my Vegas geography. Okay, I figured. Been out Jersey, here enough time. Jersey, not so much. Never been to Atlantic City. I mean, I've been to Jersey, but I don't know that I've ever... You haven't missed that much. No offense, yeah. people. Well, they got it. Parts US of it is nice. going and to New Jersey this year. Yeah. The boardwalk is fantastic. I was surprised. The ocean and... I've just always heard it's a little difficult to get to Atlantic City. Yeah. Like there's not an easy... It's kind of like Myrtle in Beach. It's a great yeah. place to go vacation, but it's uh, there's no major highway going in yeah. there. So, All right, let's see what our buddy is. That is not what you want to do. That was the last thing he wanted to do was touch and mess up that because all of a sudden this rack now belongs to Gregory. The 8th ball is going to be something to contend with, but he just broke up that 3 ball. I think Greg plays in Dave Piotrowski. Is he South Jersey APA, Dave? I think so. Dave Piotrowski? Yeah, I think in that his league, South I Jersey. Wonder if oh, he's out yeah. Here this week. Wonder if he's out well, here. there could be another county we don't know about with somebody else has that area, but yeah. I would think that that would be his yeah. area. I'm sure we'll get corrected quickly. That's the nice thing about the chat. If you're, if you're wrong, they like to let you know it. Okay, <laughs> that was a good shot. Now he's on that five ball. He got the ball out of the way. The eight now clearly goes in this pocket right here. 
So I would, I don't know, he could shoot the six now if he can see it, obviously. We'll see, either, either way will work. I not like that. Patrick Foran, I'm, r I'm right there with you. Smart pool is an always sexy pool. Defense wins games. And for those of you at home that watch the players here, this is what I hear from my league at home. They realize, they watch this and go, you know, they don't play any better than I do. But what they do is we always, even the two skill level two, three, we pl see a lot of defense. And it's usually the ones that have both an offense and a defensive game that win matches and that win tournaments. If you're just joining us, you're watching coverage of the APA 8-Ball Classic, one of five tiers of the 8-Ball Classic being live streamed today. This is the red tier. And now we're in that position again as a skill level 5. This is rack is more or less Allen's to lose unless Ooh. he did does well. what he just did. Well, the 14 goes, the 9-14 should be dead combination, so no harm done. But everything is wide open all of a sudden. That one mistake there by Gregory may cost him because most skill level fives, when a wide open table like this, should have a good chance of getting out. He should really take a look at the 914. I don't know who said it, but some uh, guy named Chris Moore answered. Somebody said, this guy can't play at all. And, he's <laughs> and Chris Moore says, says the guy that's watching <laughs> them play <laughs> at home. <laughs> yeah. All right, two balls, three balls away here for taking a 2 nothing lead. No mistakes on Gregory's part. Open the table wide open for Allen. Brian says no money in APA. I guess he, except for the 1.2 million <laughs> yeah. we'll pay out this week and the million plus we'll pay out in oh, October. Oh, I almost missed it. Well, as far as money, I mean, this is not a pro event, first of all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Five tiers, each taking home 15. I've always uh, been amazed with that. Only in America. Billiards in America is uh, most countries, if you make money doing this, you're no longer an amateur. Yeah. In most sports in America, you make money doing you're it, out. you're no longer an, yeah. a, an amateur. But here you can play for 15000 for first, 9000 for second, second even 4, if you. 4000 for third, yeah. For every Something tier. Like so, yeah. I'm pretty sure our money stacks up. Against anyone's out there, so and that doesn't include the money that comes back on the local level, right? That's just national yeah. payout. You're forgetting about whatever comes back locally through tournaments or trips and all those things. I think we calculated it being somewhere over twenty something million, is it? When you factor in travel assistance and all the right. different things that the league operators do, so sorry, buddy, but we're not gonna agree <laughs> with you on that one. I think you're flat. We'll have to wrong. agree to disagree, yeah. but well, I'm just going to tell go you. Back I'm just going to say you're wrong. How's that? I'm Our main thing is to go out and have a good time, play yeah. some amateur pool. I'm glad you have a job because it's tough out there being a pro at this. And that there was a is. good shot. Another one for Allen. He had the opportunity. The table was open, and he took it. And uh, that's two nothing now. Gregory's going to have to put in another gear here. Two nothing lead here for Mr. Geary. He will still retain the break. Well, we've got a moment. want to make sure I thank our sponsors, our friends at PoolDog.com, Valley Dynamo, the tables we're using here in Las Vegas, 
Aramis billiard balls. And action cues. Appreciate all of their support and helping us make this event and all of our events a success. Let's see some of our social networks that we have out there. Of course, our YouTube channel. You can subscribe to that and get notifications when new content is added. If you're watching us here on Facebook, you probably already know about all the great content on our Facebook page. We're on Insta, too. We got the photos on Insta, too. Don't worry. <laughs> Twitter, we're there, too. We're everywhere. All right, Allen with the break. Up 2 nothing. Needs two more games, and he'll be your eight ball classic champion. It didn't look Another like anything break. went there. Yeah. Another dry break. And no real shot here other than maybe in the side pocket, six ball in the side pocket perhaps. I don't think the 11 will go in the corner. I think all he's going to have is that six. And I'll tell you what, he makes the six. The table looks fairly good for the solids. No, I guess he can make it. So sneak by there. Yeah. My eyes are getting older. I'm not, but apparently my eyes are. Again, this is Greg Strawby at the table. Greg looking to win his first game in this match. And again, he's picked a series that has some issues. You can see that 9-13 is tied up over there by the 7 on the left part of your screen. And again, what you don't want to do, Allen's playing solid, and he's so far, Alan, the first two racks, he's more or less taken advantage of the table being opened. And like I said mm. before earlier, in the, I think it was the last match, is one of the things that I see our players too, because I try to watch our players play if we're not doing this, is an awful lot of time they run down towards the end and then leave the problems for last. And that's okay if you're a skill level two, three, four, so, so, five, definitely can't happen if you're a six or a seven you're you're you know you're playing somebody smart that that's, that's kind of consistent it's not going to happen Allen pockets the two in the side pocket there and he's got a good opportunity again as you can see, everything goes. Seven, three, one, six will go once the seven is gone and both the balls on the other side of the table will go. So I would draw this out and make the one ball in the corner. Or in the, yeah. Oh, Ooh, you got to hit it to the pocket though, know. Alan. Nerves. And that's a, uh, that's a foul, right? Yes. Yeah. No ball hit the Didn't rail. Get to a rail, so. Little opportunity here. Maybe the first real mistake I feel like we've seen from Allen. First big mistake. Greg, see if he can capitalize on that. Well, Greg still has his two balls tied up. Now it's three. The 14 has joined that crowd down there. So it may not be a bad thing for him to hit the, well, Maybe the 14 and get below. I'm not sure what he's going to do here to deal with that. He doesn't have a good breakup ball either to deal with. 14 wasn't there. He could play one of them. You know, he could play the 13 up in the corner, but I don't know. Let's see if he's going to use the try to come out center. To, you know what? Taking ball in hand right now, putting it right around here make this ball and break those suckers up. Sometimes you just got to go. And that's to me is the best breakup shot that I can find. Mm. Mm, that's got it. All right. He's got a chance to do it here. Oh, 
I was thinking those nice. first two matches we nice. saw today, uh -huh. shutouts, right? Yes. Didn't need three, to be. Three nothing and four nothing. Yeah. Yeah, I just realized that. And it, it didn't really need to be because yeah. it, it, there was a lot of uh, opportunities that were, you know, they were in a situation like this. Table's available. Now what do you do with it? There's really no reason for Gregory at a skill level five, who has obviously played well to get here, not to get out here. A little tricky whether, I, you know, if he can, especially if he can make the 13. If he can't make the 13, which it doesn't look like he can, you just got to really, making the combo looks easy enough, you just got to really focus. Um, don't think I agreed with that shot there. He's asking about what kind of lights are being used here in the on the live stream table, we've got a specially designed light that's not your typical pool table light. It's actually something custom built. Provides enough light for the, the cameras as well. The rest of the tables here just use our standard APA table lights that you'll see throughout the tournament rooms here in Vegas. I want to answer Jared K Kern real quick. Uh, there's absolutely nothing in the APA rules about moving the cue ball with a stick. Nice shot. Um, when you're lining up, if you have ball in hand, you can go ahead and move it. It is not going to be a foul. If you Once you're in a, a shooting position that you're actually ready to shoot, you touch it with the tip of the cue, then obviously it's a foul. But if you need to adjust it, even though it's a seven-foot table, not too many players can reach over and get all the way there so yeah you can adjust it and, and uh, get it in the position you want so that's not a that's not a foul or anything like that randy asked about the southwest challenge which is an event uh, for the southeast or i'm sorry southwest uh, part of the country the league operators i don't know if they're having that event this year or not you know they were so many of them were shut down until just weeks ago in yeah. california so right. i don't know I would encourage you to reach out to your league operator to ask about that because offhand I'm not sure. I'm guessing probably not, but, you know, who knows. It's I just know that California was one of the last states to really reopen, at least for pool leagues. It's really amazing how many of those – regional or intra-league events have been developed over the last several years. Yeah. Different areas of the country. You've got the big uh, Canadian and the border battle up there. The Canadian mm -hmm. and U.S. teams play in. And the Northwest Invitational up in Oregon. And Somebody just posted Southeast that it's Challenge. been canceled. The Southwest been canceled Challenge been canceled. Year, okay, yeah. So. So many great events. The Northeast Challenge up there in Syracuse. So, all right, Allen's got his work cut out for him here, trying because of where that six ball is. So he's got an opportunity for a bank shot here on the four, and if he banks it. See if the cue ball can make it down in this area for the six. That's about all I can see. Unless he wants to just tap this into the rail and hide the cue ball behind it and snooker, try to snooker him. Because if he leaves even an edge of the 14 ball, this great opportunity for Greg. So th I think he's got to really make up his mind. Are we going for it? He's got a path to get to the six in the side, or do we just kind of tap this four into the rail? I'm trying to play the speed to get a snooker behind the four. Oh, he went for it. Oh. He went for it. It broke it open. But did he just get lucky there? He did. Hot dog. 
Not only is he snook is now Gregory snookered behind the six, but the fourteen and uh, thirteen down there can't it can't even be made anymore. The angle, the combo isn't available anymore. So, who says there's no luck in sports? Well, I didn't say that. No, me neither. That's what I tell people when they say, well, slop, blah, blah, blah. I <laughs> yeah. say, what sports whatever. do you know where the luck is not yeah, a factor? Whatever. My favorite is when I play golf and I hit like a great drive only to come up and see it landing in somebody else's divot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, it's like you got an impossible next yeah. shot. It's just part of it. I know of, I don't, is there any other sport where you have to declare what you're going to do before you do it? No. You know, I mean, it's no an such interesting thing. thing, yeah. I like this guy. Caesar, Caesar, Caesar says it's not like it's a good role. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I hear you. Totally different. This is going to be an interesting end to this rack. Oh. What? Oh, wow. He had to leave. Just didn't make the shot. Unfortunately for Greg, he's still got that mess there in the corner he's got to deal with. <sighs> well, all I can see here is just roll the cue ball up into the nine. You're still going to be blocking the eight. It's not going to be able to go. Uh, I don't know what oh. that was. It, it could, wouldn't go. Oopsie. Mm -hmm. Well... Eight still isn't get going in that pocket anyway, so he's looking better now. He's looking fine. <laughs> Somebody said the game of horse you have to declare. I guess that's true. You know the game of horse, the basketball game? I stand in a spot and make the shot, and then you have to make the shot, and if you miss it, you got to uh, age. Yeah, but that's not really declaring. No. That's you answering somebody's challenge. Yeah, and I don't think that's really a, a sport. Yeah. I think they're but being that was more a good facetious. But it is a good it He dug deep, and you've yeah. got to give him credit. Yes. for. Yeah, you're right. Yes. And I don't call horse a sport, so that's just <laughs> me. <laughs> it's a variation of a particular sport. All right, Alan. Well, do or die time, Gregory. You do not want Alan to get on the hill here, which he will if you don't get out pretty much now. It's not guaranteed. There's still life maybe, but it doesn't get any sweeter than this. All right. Sweet little draw here, just straight back up. It could be an interesting situation getting on the eight. You may have to go up and down. We'll have to see how far it gets. It's hard to know a skill level five. And it's hard to know how much cue ball control there is there. Everybody's different. Oh, oh. nothing wrong with the cue ball control. It was the 14 ball control we had problem with there. <coughs> Gonna shot need to come here. Up with something here. Yeah, the shot here is just to play the 14 off and try to get out behind that, you know, snuggle up with the eight ball. Because the worst thing that's going to happen then if you get close, you're going to snooker him on the six, even if he, Allen gets a shot on the five ball, it's not going to be anything nice. So you would just touch it on the side, drift the cue ball up to the rail, or not. Mm. This will work too. Even a bank on the six ball now is going to bring the cue ball to the wrong direction. So I think I would do the same thing. I would hit the six ball here and have the cue ball come this way. Six goes over here, possibly snookering Gregory on this 14. At least leaving a, you know, at the w very worst, leaving a bank shot that has the cue ball going the wrong direction. Oh, 
Another good turnout here at Pool Dog Arena in terms of spectators. Well, that couldn't have turned out much better for Allen. Kind of a long shot he went for, but he ended up coming out smelling like a rose on this one. This is where you just uh, can't even make the 14. You see the angle there. there it's not enough. He's going to have to try to hit and stick there. If you can hit the left side of the 14 at all, you might be able to get the cue ball to sneak behind that 8. I don't think he can. No, he can't make it. Almost. watching coverage of the APA 8-Ball Classic here in Las Vegas. This is the red tier, the third of five championship tiers in the 8-Ball Classic. Both these players are skill level fives, which means this is a race to four. The first player to win four games will be your champion. Alan Geary at the table here from the state of Texas currently leads 2-0. Had a little conversation with himself there. <laughs> Alan is from Corsicana, Texas, which is just outside the Dallas area, it looks like, based on my Google map. His opponent, Greg Strawby, from Glassboro, New Jersey, South Jersey. Alan really taking his time with this one. Important and he's been down here. on the shot. Usually somebody Got will stand it. and look at it forever, but he was down on that shot for long. I can't do that. You know, I can't stay down there for yeah, so long. My arm stiff, starts shaking yeah. or you get set. Yeah, or you lose your focus or your line of aim. All right, this is one of those shots that you just kind of hit real smooth. You've got to actually apply high on this or the cue ball dies. He's so straight in, so unless he cheats the pocket a hair, the cue ball tends to stop, but he did. He cheated it just enough, and Look at that. sweet. Wow. He had natural position, but he had to really stroke it, and he did. What a leave there. All right, opportunity for Allen to take a commanding 3 nothing lead. This would put him on the hill. There's the and he got All right. it. Alan Geary, 3 nothing lead. Needs just one big game to secure this championship. He will have the break once again as he has the entire match. Won the lag and obviously the, the next three games. So he's been in all, all in control for Allen here. He's yeah. And he's playing really well, but Gregory has made some definite mistakes. So it's not like, you know, it's funny how a shutout could be because somebody just totally outplayed somebody and or got all the role, you know, there can be different reasons. But here, just like the last match, both players had a chance towards the end of the rack and made those little mistakes. Alan hasn't done anything amazing. He's just played a steady, he's steady match. He's been real steady, though. Real I mean, he's steady, he's, yeah. real steady, taking advantage Makes of mistakes. Makes the shots he's supposed to make. Absolutely. And not getting down to, too down on himself when he has made a mistake. And that's so important that... When you when you make a mistake, it's hard. It's easier to said than done. But when you make a mistake, sit down and just think. Okay, next, uh, you know, wait for your next shot. Focus on your next shot because if you really focused on that last one, it's going to grow in your mind. You start getting into and so by the time you do get a shot, 
which you know you're going to get, un unless it's the last one, you're mentally not prepared for it. Right. You already feel defeated. So shake it off as fast as you can, and what's done is done. About 45 minutes into this match, we will have continuing coverage. Our next match, I believe, scheduled for 3.30 this afternoon. That would be the orange tier. Skill level sixes, they will be up next. And that's 3.30 Pacific time. 6.30 for those of you on the East Coast. I think tomorrow we don't have any finals. We're off tomorrow. We have a whole day. I'm gonna. St I think I'm Go gonna to the stay in the bed. No, the I'm pool. in the bed. Man, did you look outside today? No. Holy cow, Smog City. Is it? Yeah, I guess the wildfire smoke moved into the valley. Oh. I woke up this morning. You can't hardly see outside. Oh wow. I mean, wow. you can't see past, you know, like the strip or any of that. Well, if I open <coughs> up my so drapes, my room, bec you know, all of a sudden it's 86 degrees in my yeah, room, yeah. so I keep. I know. I haven't been outside in like two days. I just saw, looked out the window, so. But yeah, that that smoke from the the northwest has moved down here. You could definitely see it today, but yeah, tomorrow should be a little recoup day, and then we'll be back at it on Monday. Four finals on Monday, so we'll take it easy. So we on need us the tomorrow. rest tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, rest up tomorrow. That was very kind of the tournament department yeah, to think of us, because I'm sure that's what it was about. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. That. All right, another open table. This is what you want right here when you're up three nothing and there's a table that is kind of like a, like a little Christmas present here. Nothing's tied up. Don't need to overthink it, but just figure out where you can go, where you have the least amount of uh, cue ball movement. You want to try to stay in a pattern. Just because you have two balls to play position for here or three, as it were, you have to pick one. And now he's kind of a little bit in the between. I know he can make a ball on the side, but you really need to, just because you have several balls, pick one, or you could very easily end up with no position on anything. Okay, looks like a smooth draw stroke could be between Allen and $15,000 right now if he can come back. That ball on the end rail. Oops. Watch out. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> I got away with one. Wow. Boy, that how did that hang up? That I have no like idea. Plenty of speed I have no idea. Side. Greg's just <laughs> Well, he he doesn't have much to shoot at really. I mean if you take a look at it. Um you wouldn't expect so, but it looks like he's gonna should go just defensive here, here and just roll the cue ball down on this side of the table, considering the 14 has nowhere to go. Oh, he made a good combo. All right. And he parked the cue ball right there as a little backup just in case. A smart shot. All right, so other than 
missing a shot, which we can all do. Biggest thing he's got, oh boy, didn't want to let go of the cue ball. If you See, if you follow the cue ball there, you have a natural position coming out for the five or the six or the little reverse would brought him to the seven. But drawing it with that angle, unless you really put a lot of draw on it and some speed, um, he let the cue ball go a little bit. So now he's got a tougher shot here on the seven ball. And the danger is, if you miss it, now all of a sudden, Allen's got a shot on the 14 on the side, it looks like. Or he could, I don't know, nothing's easy, but um, there was no reason for Gregory to be that far on the rail from that shot. Just let the cue ball go a little bit, which is common. Let's give a level five. It's not going to have the cue ball control of a six or a seven or a pro, obviously. Trying to keep up with all these comments. I would say I would remind folks to be respectful of each other as well as the participants here. Don't make me get my ban finger out. I like to do the banning when I when I need to, so let's all be kind to each other. Yeah, there's a little off button on your phone if you're not enjoying this battle between right. these two skill level fives. Yeah, and go watch another match. The amateur league that is the APA. Then go yeah. watch the Olympics. The what Olympics I, what I love on? is most of these guys that are complaining have never even made it to Vegas. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so I know. We got keyboard cowboys, yeah. we know. We know you keyboard cowboys. Ooh. Ouch. Not what we had planned there. The ban hammer. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Bust out the ban <laughs> hammer. Who came up with that term? I like it. I like that too. Who said that? Patrick. I like that, Patrick. All right, Alan, looking at two rail kick here. Bottom cushion, side cushion. That's about the only shot he's got. So two rails just hit kind of between these two cushions right here. He's got a chance of coming down this way. Oh, how did you hit it? Wow. How did you hit it, Alan? Wow. Really well done. <laughs> Much to the... The delight of the spectators here. <coughs> Still the underdog right now winning this rack, but fantastic hit. Much better than giving ball in hand, that's for sure. I'm not the only one who likes the ban hammer. <laughs> ban hammer, ban <laughs> hammer, ban hammer. <laughs> Should we drop the ban hammer? Ouch. Yeah, it's just a few more misses than you need to have to <laughs> to win a match. S put, it, put it very simply. It doesn't mean that he can't win from here, but it, at this point, Gregory has made a few too many mistakes. Alan's gotten some breaks, and Alan has been playing solid. But that's pretty much, if I had to write an article on this match, that's pretty much what I, I would sum it up. I think I saw Greg's dad rooting on his son. If I can go back through the comments. Where was that? Yeah, Gary Strawby. Dad's rooting yawn, Gary, or Greg. Gary's rooting yawn. Yeah, these nerves can eat you up. Mm. 
I'm not sure where Jay's looking. How do you, is he trying to? He can't bank it. It's not going to go. There's no way it's going to get by that five ball, so I'm not sure. Missy's trying to, trying to backwards cut, maybe, because the seven's going to stop the cue ball from going. But this would really have to be hit thin and hard. Yeah, I know. That would is not going to work. All right, time for Gregory to remember he's still very much in this match. Yeah, if he could just three pull to out one, this, you're yeah. still totally alive. That'll give it you pumped up. You're breaking. It's not over yet. Take a deep breath and pretend you don't even know the score. You're yeah. here. You're playing. You might as well just give it your all. Shake that confidence that Alan yeah. has a little bit. Played a great semifinal match to get here. He's played great throughout the whole tournament. There's a reason the race is to four. It's not to three. Oh, oh wow. Ouch. Yeah. It's when your brain is working against you. You know what I mean? You're thinking too much. You're uh, taking your eye off of it because you're thinking about the ball or you think about what the score is. Yeah. You're thinking about, man, I'm pl not playing as well as I y usually do. You know, whatever it's it is, but your brain is building, just fighting yeah. against you here. Well... Let's see what Allen can do here. No, no, there's no coaching in singles. No coaching in singles. Allen's on his own here. Again, our next final scheduled to begin at 3.30 Pacific time. Depending on how this match goes, assuming it is completed by 3.30. As we said before, just a reminder, this is the red final bracket, tier, red tier, that is scale level 5. They're playing for 15,000 for first, 9,000 for second, as did the skill level four, the match before this, the twos and threes, the match before that. And so will the sixes coming up. And we're going to finish the day with skill level seven. Oh, boy. All right. Here we go. Come on, Gregory. I know you want to get a game on here. Not rooting for Gregory, but everybody loves a battle. Oh, no, that's not going to be a dream situation. Would have loved to shoot that. You know, just roll it up, shoot the six down in the corner, and have the seven, the, the shot before the eight. But now he's going to have to do some, put a stroke on this cue ball. It looks like he's going to be jacked up just a little bit from the six. Hit this nice and firm. He wants to go two rails. Yeah. Real interested in seeing what Greg can do. If he can just finish off this rack, get that break. Might not be too late to turn this around, but he's got to make something happen here. Well, two options. You bank, bank it into the side or play safe. And he played a safety, but he hit it too well. That's going to be close. Can he? Nope. He got, he did it. He snuckered him. This is where Gary is going. Boy, couldn't I just gotten something easy and get out of here? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, looks like he's gonna have to just go one rail here. 
I don't like, uh, normally I always say use the cushion that's closest to the ball, but in this case I think I would go all the way down. This one makes me nervous because when the cue ball's this close to the rail, it gets a funny kind of bounce to it. It's hard to judge where to hit it. Looks like he's aiming well. Let's we'll see if what the cue ball's going to do here, if it's going to take that arch the way it tends to do when you hit it, when it's this close to it. Oh, wow. he did. Oh, yeah, he fired oh good. The, look at this, though. No, I don't know. Ball in hand. Ball in hand now. Yep. And this, this is the this opportunity This is going to be it here, Greg. For. Little break. No problems here. Chance to pull within two games. Extend this match. Control the break. But he's got to finish it off. I think Gary is Gary has got one more post on him and then Gary is going to be uh, hit hit by the finger. We're about done oh, with Gary. Gary. What's Gary saying? These guys are out there fighting and have been playing a great tournament. Mm. He's just being a jerk. All right, Gary. When you watch a movie you don't particularly care for, don't you usually turn it off or do you sit there and watch it even you're not happy about it? I mean, I don't understand. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, some people don't have a lot to do, Ava. Yeah, that's true. Unfortunately. All right, here it is, Greg. All there right, go, we're on Greg. the board, Greg. Pocket set eight in the corner, and he now trails by just two games in this race to four. As we mentioned, he'll have the break. The referee will prepare the rack for these two players. As we mentioned, we've got two more two more finals here in the eight ball classic to go today. Next match scheduled to start about 3.30 Pacific time. Might be a little late, as we are now about ten minutes past three here on the West Coast. Oh, there you go. Strong break though, oh. but that cue ball had like it had eyes oh, went into the side pocket. Oh, no. Yeah. No. Yeah. Frustrating. And uh, I'm telling you, the solids are looking really good right now. Alan will have the cue ball behind the head string. Yeah. He wishes he had ball solids. anywhere Pocket. right now because yeah, then it no would joke. be it would be over. But um, the one ball is makeable there be great if he could come up for the five. That's what he'd like to do because getting on the eight is going to be the only little bit of an issue or n maybe not so little. As you can see, it's guarded pretty well there by the 14. You just it might have to take your medicine and make the one and then the seven. We'll see what he's going to do here. It'd be beautiful if he could make this one ball and then has to have the come cue ball then the four, and now you got the seven easily to get to the eight. You make it seem so simple. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm a Telestrator warrior. 
that finger. You know, yeah. you got your band finger. I got my <laughs> tummy <laughs> finger. The band hammer. <laughs> band hammer. Sorry. Dropped. <laughs> Dropped. I think somebody got the band hammer before I did, though. Oh, no. Let's, boom. Band hammer dropped. No more Gary. <coughs> all right, Gregory. One ball is not looking all that pretty now, is it? All right, we'll see Alan back in the driver's seat with this mess to solve. Got a, looks like a makeable combo here. I don't know if that ball goes by the 13, but I think it does. That's gonna help a little bit, help his cause, clean up this mess a little. He's got the advantage considering that Gregory only has two balls left on the table besides the eight. So he's in the driver's seat a little bit. This is where you kind of, do I go for it here? Don't I? Do I really lose anything by going for it? The problem he's going to have is if he tries to, if he draws it back here and he tries to combo and hits the 13 ball out of the, I mean the 12 ball out of the way, then look what, what he did. Then all of a sudden he's going to open that one ball for Gregory, so if you go for it here, to then you got to make it. Or well, that could be the end of this rack, and all of a sudden, Gregory has a chance to kind of breathe down his neck a little bit here. That was playing defense, smart shot. Do we know how many players were in this tier? To start out? 201. 201. 201 is the second largest of the five tiers. Mm -hmm. The orange tier actually was the largest, 240. So, yeah, both these guys have had to navigate a pretty – I mean, look at the difference in field size. You had the blue tier with 54 players. You have four times as many people in this, right. this particular tier <laughs> or tournament, essentially, right? I mean, it's its own tournament within the eight-ball classic, so – <coughs> and this, um, every single player here has qualified one way or no another to get here yeah. in, this in the singles. There's a few of our events, like a Masters or Ladies, where you may not have had to qualify. You may run into somebody in the tournament out here that did not qualify. If it's a very small Wheelchair league. Wheelchair championship. Wheelchair, yeah. Not, yeah, that's one. But where you might have a team that was kind of... Um, Played in a qualifying tournament, maybe, or just the league operator said, "Does anybody want to go?" Because they they get one spot if they're of a certain size. So, yeah. but uh, but pretty much, so other less than less that, everybody yeah, here those those that have gotten less and less yes, over the years. Doesn't happen very uh, often because the slots just aren't out there. Allen back at the table here. Again, he's on the hill, needs just one big one big game. And the title will be his. But there's a lot going on out there in that Maybe we get a look at the overhead shot, Kara, if you don't mind. There we go. You can really see the, <laughs> the cluster there on the side rail and you know that's not going to be one of those where somebody's just going to bust into them this this rack could be a while here yeah. before somebody feels confident enough to go for it I mean, he could draw into it right now but i don't think he's going to slam it to try to make a lot happen we'll see oh he did and he missed it and he got a little fortunate no pocket for the for a ball but with only two balls that for Greg, that it wasn't like a guarantee who was going to get a shot anyway. So we'll see what he's going to do here.
Well, how about that? Gregory got a little, little luck back, didn't he? That last little kick stopped Allen from making the ball down at the corner. So all he's got is a combo here. I don't know that I would shoot it, though. That would make make the possibly the eight move, and I don't know. There's always a defense of just touching it. We saw him do this before, and he just didn't even get anything to the rail. It's kind of one of those panic shots. See if he can get the cue out of the way. Yeah, good shot. Gotten very quiet here again in mm -hmm. Pool Dog Arena. Always as we move towards the end of the matches, it starts getting. It starts quiet, gets a little louder towards the end of the matches. Gets very quiet again. We have a really good crowd in here. Yeah, it's a few open chairs, but we have started so many of uh, many of our events out in mm -hmm. the main arena. So been really impressed by the crowd here in in Pool Dog Championship Arena as well as online, and we've been at a th almost uh, over a thousand viewers, I think, for the the vast majority of the the matches that we've done, which is great. Mm -hmm. Glad you guys are tuning in. Appreciate you tuning in. Hope you're enjoying what you're watching. If you are, head on over to our friends at PoolDog.com's website if you need some billiard accessories or you're doing some early Christmas shopping. Appreciate all their support and helping us bring this coverage to you, this live free coverage. A lot goes into this production. Kind of as you predicted, Ava, it's become just a defensive battle here on this side yeah. rail. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's easy to get frustrated and go, fine, I don't know what to do. I'm just going to hit. Yeah. That, you know, if there's no smart shot anywhere, maybe, but I mean, in a situation like this, you got to bear down and make a plan and be patient. He's got a chance to run out. I mean, the table is not easy but if he gets this these are open they're both can pass into this pocket there's a combo here or if you get out here you're in good shape so i mean it's just how do you want to try to get there i know it's difficult i find that talking about skill level fives to me, it's difficult to, to say the, the shot is this or the move is probably this because a five can be somebody who is a really good shot maker and smart but doesn't have very great cue ball control as far as touch, as far as drawing it with some or hitting it with reverse or whatever it is which affects aim. So that's, that's different. And once you get to sixes and sevens, you figure they, they know those shots. When you go lower... Um, chances are they don't. You know what I mean? I think a five is an interesting, it's right in the middle of of the abilities of the APA. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like we talked about in the last match, it's it's not just about shooting the correct shot that may be on the table and may be clear to somebody else. It's to stay within your ability and know what you're capable of doesn't mean you have to hit every shot like Shane Van Boning. There's some <laughs> bad decisions on there, but even the good ones, you may not be able to pull it off. Some folks mentioning the October event, our World Championships. Looks like some nervous folks out there wondering if it'll end up being postponed. 
the moment we don't have any indication that that would be the case, and we're hopeful that that won't be a problem with, hopefully with Nevada's new mask mandate. You might have to wear a mask, but... It would take a lot uh, for all of us. I hope it doesn't get bad enough to where yeah. they shut. That the only way they're going to do that if it's... Well, the good thing is we've got some time after this event. You've got a couple of months to hopefully things start to yeah. trend better. And right. one of the issues that we originally had with the COVID shutdown was you had leagues that had not yet qualified players for Vegas. And right. that, that really added to the issue because it was like even if Vegas had opened up last August – none of the qualifiers had been run. The, the good right. thing now is the qualifiers, for the most part, have been run or are running now. Uh, so as long as, you know, Vegas is open and events are allowed, I think we should be in good shape. So very hopeful, you know. Um, yeah, I just need to see those numbers bend downward again. That's what we want to see yeah. here in the next couple weeks. So, you know. Control what you can control. And this is where it's impossible to know just how much of the one ball he can see, if he can. No matter what, Gregory is not in an enviable situation here. There's no question. Somebody's asking about the water problem in Lake Mead. I do not anticipate that would hinder us for... October, they've had a water problem in Lake Mead for for ever so long as I years can remember. and years yeah. and years. Not to say that it's not a problem, but I don't anticipate in the next two months it would be a an issue that would cause any kind of nice shot problems for our event. Actually, you ever been out on Lake Mead? I was out there. Yes, about ten years ago, I went on a boat out there. Yep, awesome out there. It's beautiful. beautiful. Crystal clear water right in the middle of the mountains. It is fantastic. It really is. When I come out here for the APA, though, especially since I, you know, I'm a league operator, There's I don't no want to. I want to go see my s Coastal Carolina APA yeah. players play, if they're up. So I don't leave the hotel. I usually yeah. I had my I had my luncheon um, at the win, but now I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so and then all these matches spare. we're doing like today and you know, on Monday. Except tomorrow, we could have gone to Lake Mead tomorrow. We didn't well, plan what were you thinking? I don't know. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, did he just do that? Oh, wow. <laughs> how many have we seen hang on like that? He put the brakes on. Oh. A little uphill, maybe in that pocket. Yeah, as far as time limit, no, we don't really have that in, in the, the finals. Not yet. They I won't say that won't come at no. some point down the road. We'll no, see. we have tried to avoid it because there's enough pressure on these guys yeah. already. Men and women coming out here, living regular lives, playing pool league, having a good old time, and then all of a sudden pressure playing in Vegas, period. I know a lot of our players have said it's, it, you know they didn't realize how much that was going to be. Now, this is a whole different level when you get to the finals here with the lights and everybody at home is watching and there's no saying, well, you know, I lost, the other guy played too good. Now, all of a sudden, you got to contend with, what if I play bad, then I can't make up story. Everybody's watching. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I know that even, you know, playing the pro tournaments, it's like uh, there's an extra layer of pressure and some people can handle it better than others. And um, so, yeah. Hi, Aaron. Just saw you on there. From Coastal oh. Carolina APA. He came too far, didn't he? He's, he might have to kick at this. <sighs> Hit it. He needed to stroke it to be able to really make sure he made the ball. But no, he. I think he's going to have to kick it, you know, go rail first. The question is, with the table sliding a little bit, because we're in Las Vegas here, it's not a lot of humidity. Can he hit just after the side pocket mm -hmm. and still mi and still make it? I'm not sure. High pressure shot here. As 
Greg looks on, just hoping for another opportunity. He's going to have to go shorter up on the rail than he thinks. It's going to slide on him. How'd you hit it. it? How did you hit it? Wow. Well done, Alan. Alan Geary, folks, your eight ball classic champion in the red tier. Finishes it off in dramatic fashion. Nice shot there on that eight ball. And he, again, is the newest of our eight ball classic champions. Looks like drinks are on uh, Allen in Corsicana. Yeah, Corsicana. <laughs> Fantastic match there. I'm glad for Gregory that he w got on, on the uh, board Absolutely. there. I know it doesn't matter win, lose, but it feels better to come out here. And um, he put his foot down a little bit, but it was... Uh, you know, Allen was tough today. We'll see if Casey can grab Allen real quick. Get a quick interview in. Hi. We're just waiting momentarily here. I like Allen's hat. He's got his Texas hat on. Here we go. Cowboy Allen ready to talk to Casey here. Take it away. Awesome. Thank you so much, Jason. We are here with Alan, uh, winner of the eight ball classic in the red tier. How are you feeling? I don't know yet. <laughs> I'm uh, exhausted. Other than pulling a muscle, what were your expectations for coming into this tonight? Uh, just to have fun and uh, compete and win. Awesome. So how long have you been playing pool for? About 40 years. 40 years, just a little bit of time practicing. That's awesome. So what are you planning on doing with your winnings? No idea. No idea. Any shout outs that you would like to give back at home watching? Just my, uh, just my family and uh, all the people that shoot pool in Corsicana and APA and, and just friends of mine all over Corsicana. Uh, uh, Thank you for your prayers. I think they've done the trick. Awesome. Well, there you have it, guys. Man, a few words, but he's probably going to go have a beer. Um, so congratulations, Pepsi. Pepsi, thank you again, and congratulations. Back to you, Jason. All right. Nice job there, Casey. Awesome. Thank you. Getting a word from our newest champion, Alan Geary, Corsicana, Texas. Congratulations to Alan as well as Greg Straubey, runner-up in this year's 8-Ball Classic Red Tier. We're ready to hand out some trophies, folks. We will be back in just a few minutes here with our orange tier coverage of the 8-Ball Classic. First, we've got to give out those trophies, that prize money, and we will see you in just a few minutes. Don't go too far. <laughs> 